what's going on everyone and welcome to part 4 of tutorial series on AWS audio analysis in the previous tutorial we have successfully configured our lambda function uh, which is uh, basically responsible for creating the transcription job and upload the outcome of the transcription job is that the transcribed file or the transcribed data itself uh, to S3 bucket and as promised I am going to discuss an issue with our uh, current architecture or the current implementation right and we will see how how we can uh, resolve this issue or the problem so uh, let me start with the lambda function so it's the same lambda function uh, uh, which we have configured in the previous tutorial that is uh, AWS audio analysis in my case right so so here is the lambda function so basically uh, this lambda function is responsible for creating the transcribed job uh, as I said but apart from that it constantly uh, check for the status right so within this while loop it, it check for the status of the transcription job that whether it is completed or not or whether it is failed or not correct so and probably I mean not probably it's working well as we saw in the previous tutorial right so uh, what can go wrong here so it worked well because uh, we had a, a very short audio right uh, that is of uh, 9 to 10 minutes but what if we have uh, a 1 hour or 2 hour audio 2 hour long audio right so this lambda function is going to fail why uh, because a lambda function have the limitation of a 15 minutes timeout correct so it's obvious that uh, transcribe may take longer than 15 minutes for a given uh, audio right for a given audio of maybe one hour or two hour so maximum uh, we can uh, provide four hours uh, long audio to uh, transcribe so that's one of the limitation of AWS transcribe so therefore lambda function will time out if, if transcribe job takes more than 15 minutes uh, so this lambda function cannot survive more than 15 minutes it's going to time out so but our transcription job is going to uh, run uh, it's not going to fail so how we can handle this so one way to handle this situation is the output bucket parameter right so output bucket par is the uh, parameter of this tra start transcription job right so what we can do is uh, we can simply define here output bucket sorry output bucket name and followed by the bucket name correct so so this is uh, one of the solution but it does have uh, one of the drawback as per our architecture right so so here one of the limitation is that we cannot reference to a particular folder within the uh, given bucket right so for example if I want to uh, store the transcribe file and let's say we have a bucket name uh, and we have a directory called transcribe right so I cannot store uh, this transcribe file into this directory so I cannot give the reference here because uh, it's, it, it only accepts the bucket name right so so that's uh, one of the uh, problem uh, with the output bucket name so if we, if we look at the architecture right so uh, we are willing to store this uh, file into this transcribe file directory right so but as I said output bucket name does not accept the reference of the particular folder in a given bucket right so we can only mention the bucket name so I'm not sure why uh, but I think they should add this feature uh, they should uh, allow us to give the reference to a particular folder right so here the solution is to add a new bucket in our architecture and store the transcribe file there instead of a uh, transcribe file directory right so instead of this uh, we can add a bucket in here so uh, let's look at the another approach so another approach is to configure CloudWatch events, right? So let's have a look at the CloudWatch. So 
so what we can do is uh, we can just uh, go to events rules and here we can uh, create a new rule and we can say event pattern and, and in service time we will say transcribe and in event type uh, let's say transcribe job state change right so if you, if you want to trigger a notification or a trigger a lambda function on any kind of status change then you can select any status or uh, and uh, you can also select specific state right so in our case uh, we might require completed or failed right so uh, so whenever the uh, state will change to completed or failed um, what we want to do is we want to trigger uh, for example a lambda function right so what we can do is we can add a target we can select the desired lambda function right and we'll say configure details you can even add more than uh, one service or the more than one target right not necessary it should be all the lambda function but you can uh, also have an sns topic or sqs correct so this is uh, the another approach uh, by which uh, we can solve this issue right so how so whenever the state will change uh, whenever it will be completed it will trigger the lambda function right and that lambda function will have a event which contains the uh, so let me show you here here we have a sample event right so it will uh, provide us this much information uh, within the lambda function right so in detail uh, we will also get transcribe job name right so using that uh, transcribe job name um, uh, we can uh, fetch the transcribe data and store it in an s3 bucket right as we are as we had done in the previous tutorial within our lambda function right so uh, this is the another approach also we can handle this uh, situation uh, using staff function right so once uh, here uh, i will follow a simple solution uh, is to create a new bucket and configure output bucket parameter into lambda function right so if we look at the architecture so instead of this transcribe file what i will do is uh, i will put in a uh, a new bucket and probably I will remove this and then put in here a bucket right and we will remove this relation here So uh, this is how uh, our architecture will look like. So what we had did is we have just removed this transcribe directory here and we had added in a new bucket, right? It's because it's because the output bucket name uh, does not allow us to give a reference to a particular folder in a given bucket, right? So instead of uh, giving a reference now, uh, we will only uh, give the uh, bucket name, right? So let's go ahead and uh, create a new bucket. I wonder uh, they should uh, add this feature. It's not a feature, but it, they should allow uh, an user to uh, add a reference to a particular directory within the bucket, right? So let me create a bucket. I will say AWS audio analysis. I will say transcribe file. So it says it contains. Oh, we cannot put in underscore. We should put hyphen here. And I will say create. So we have this bucket here. We'll simply uh, copy this bucket name. and uh, we can pass this bucket name over here now what will happen is instead of uh, storing a file in the 
this transcript file directory in so let, let me show you so instead of uh, storing the transcript file over here uh, it will store the transcript file in the bucket that we have just created right so now uh, once we have the output bucket name parameter configured we do, we don't require this right so we'll simply uh, remove this because uh, now uh, the transcript job will automatically save the uh, transcript file into a custom bucket that we have a reference to right and uh, we will go ahead and save this lambda function so uh, it's never a good idea to change the architecture uh, post starting the implementation right so you have to consider every single detail uh, before finalizing the uh, architecture diagram correct so this was a known issue uh, while i created the architecture diagram but it's just to uh, give the gist that one should think about such issues uh, that might uh, occur later right while designing the uh, architecture diagram so that's it for now and uh, we we have this working solution right so this even is working so all you need to drop in the file and it will store the transcribe file or the transcribe data within this bucket instead of the folder right and we have also updated our architecture diagram so that's it for now and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time